Welcome, friends, to Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter. We bring you the greatest female voices in the music industry, from the artists, songwriters, and producers, to managers and executives, and all the women who make the music industry what it is today. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, friends, to another episode of Crazy Women Country. I'm Donna. And I'm Paula. And today we have Whitney Miller with us. How are you doing? Hey, y'all. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me again, I must say. I love coming on back, <laughs> coming on again. <laughs> well, we love having you here. <laughs> well, I wasn't here the first time, so it's definitely a pleasure for the second time. <laughs> As you learn. But this time, you know, second time's best time, I guess. Definitely. Second time's a charm. Yes, we um, had two of us to harass you instead of one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the most important question ever. Who is Whitney Miller? Oh, man, you know, that's a big question. <laughs> um, but ultimately, I think the bottom line is I am somebody who tries to live on the edge and go after my fears as much as I possibly can. And hopefully through that share my story and give people permission to do the exact same and do whatever the hell it is that they want to do. Awesome. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it includes danger for sure. <laughs> At least in my world. <laughs> Why not? So, Why? Something tells me we get arrested if we have one too many drinks though. We might. Yeah, we might, but you know what? We'd have a good story. So. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I love that. That'd be awesome. Oh. So tell us, who are some of the people that have inspired you musically? You know, growing up, I used to, with my parents, I used to listen to Johnny Cash and Pat- Patsy Cline. And, uh, you know, I love Susan Tedeschi now and Bonnie Raitt. And so those have always just kind of been my influences. But, you know, in the country world, I love Miranda Lambert and Gretchen Wilson has always been like my, you know, hero and in, mm-hmm. in just the way that she does things. And um, so I just have nothing but love for them. And I think you can start to hear some of those influences in in my music that I have out for sure. You know, I've used some of their references. And and now as I kind of transform a little bit more onto the rock side of things, um, you'll you'll hear some country in there, but it's it's mainly rock, which is really exciting. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Definitely so, said. Tell us about this uh new podcast you might have coming out. Yeah, so I I hosted a podcast for quite a few years um, previously, and I just had so much fun doing it. I love, as y'all probably know, you know, sitting down and talking to people, you get like uninterrupted time with them to really get to know them and just have a cool conversation. Um, And I've been wanting to bring it back. And I know a lot of my audience has been asking for me to bring it back. And so I decided, all right, let's just sit down and do it again. It's called Outwit Yourself. And it's basically just all about outwitting yourself at your own game, you know, like any fears that come up or any doubts that say you can't do something or you shouldn't do something. Like what is that thing that you have to do to outwit yourself? And obviously my name is Whitney. So we had to have a little play on play on the word there, you know, a little pun. So um, yeah, we've been, we're really close to getting that um, out into the world. And that's something that I, I feel like it's going to give people a real look into me and how I work because It will be long form content, right? So it's going to be about an hour. And my whole goal is is that whoever's listening, y'all or anybody that's listening feels like they're just sitting down at the table having a conversation with me or whoever the guest is. Sounds like fun. Yeah, I'm excited. It'll be a lot of fun. I was going to say, just just trying to get someone to overcome a fear in general and just to, to take action is in itself immense. I mean, no matter what you're doing. I mean, great. So jumping out of an airplane, sometimes you get pushed, you know, because you're attached to someone, but total different story there, right? <laughs> yeah. It's still scary. I mean, you still got in that plane. <laughs> you know what I mean? But scary. yeah, I think it's just, there's, there's, it, it could be the smallest fear ever. It could be making one post on Instagram. It could be doing a cooking class, going to dinner by yourself, traveling solo, like singing, whatever it may be, however small it may actually seem, it's just all relative. And I think once you finally take the step towards that, it's the best feeling in the world. I always say my favorite feeling, like if I could bottle it up, is that feeling right after you do something you're afraid of. Whatever that is, I'm 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 here for it. And that's like what I'm chasing. 
I have to say, it's the adrenaline rush. Every time we do an interview, I'm always nervous beforehand, but then afterwards you have that amazing adrenaline rush of like, we did it again, even though we've done it, I don't know, hundreds of interviews, but you've done it again and it's just, it's amazing. It really is. So I it really that. is. It really is. It is. And the gratitude that comes with it. I will say that much. That's <laughs> been the biggest thing. Oh, cool. So, yeah. So, Okay, so we know that there's a new EP in the works. So it's and you were just mentioned it's a lot more rock. Can you what can you tell us about it? Other than it's 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 in the process. Yeah, it's in the process. Um, you know, I've been working on this EP now for gosh, you know, almost close to a year, just writing and making sure that the music is where I want it to be. I found a new producer in that time, um, Andrew Bayless, who does, you know, a lot of people here in town, including Jelly Roll and Pecos in the rooftops and you know, that whole vibe. And so I wanted to find somebody who was not straight down the line country because I'm not straight down the line country. You know, I never mm-hmm. have been. And, and but country is in my roots. I grew up in South Texas. And so I don't want to completely run away from straight down the line country. Um, so it'll have, you know, very rock instrumentals. And I naturally sing with a twang. So that'll still be in there as mm-hmm. well. Um, and I feel like country now is starting to broaden its horizons on what we consider country, especially when it comes to rock music. And it's super exciting for me because I wasn't doing that because I knew country was going that way. I just, I just felt like that's where I wanted to lean more and started working on it. And now we're at the process where we're going through the mixes and there's still some smaller tweaks that I want to make. Um, but you know, we're getting close to splitting hair hairs. And once I'm splitting hairs on the mixes and what I want to change, I know that they're that we're very close. And I'd say we're getting we're getting to that point. And then there's a few other demos that we definitely want to uh cut as well. So that either go on that same project or maybe I'll release them a little bit later as as singles. But this is to me a full representation of of who I am as an artist and and trusting that it'll be received by the people who like it. And if people don't like it, that's okay too. You know, that's just kind of how it goes in any sort of art. And so now I'm just, I'm just making sure it feels good for me before I put anything out there. Cause I'm one that uh, I don't have much patience (laughs) and I really like to put things out as soon as they're possibly like, as soon as they're done. Mm -hmm. Um, And I've done that in the past and haven't been a hundred percent all in on it. And I decided that I'm just going to work on my patience and make sure this is absolutely 100% Whitney. Yeah. Perfect. Sounds amazing. Look Thank you. To- absolutely. And the yeah. previous music you put out is, is amazing too. Cause I mean, I love go ahead and make it that that's a great song. Thank you. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. a fun, it's a fun love country song. Mm-hmm. You know, it was one of the first songs that I actually ever wrote. I wrote it with um, Will Knack, who's the guitarist for Parker McCollum. And um, we just went into the room one day and and I think he was maybe hanging out with some girl and I was just recently out of a relationship. So we're like, let's talk about, let's talk about that in a song and see what happens and go ahead and make it was what came out. And I still really love that song for sure. It's like very near and dear to my heart. So when you're writing a song, do you have a, a special place that you like to go or is it like a, a certain time of day or is it just it just comes to you? It just kind of, yeah, it just comes to me. I mean, I think any artist, as far as I know, we have constant, you know, notes in our phone and voice notes of different melodies or choruses or lyrics or I mean, as I was sitting here waiting to get on this um, interview, I was recording a melody that just kind of popped in my head and was like, oh. I should just record that. And then, you know, sometimes I will sit down and try to write. Other times it's just when inspiration strikes and um, I'll just kind of see what I've already had in all of my voice notes and see if any of it makes sense or if it hits home and feels good to kind of chase that tail. Sounds good. Sounds good. It's awesome. I always love to know that who who's what everyone's doing in their writing process. I'm the type I write every day. So regardless, sometimes it's junk to me. And sometimes it's just total writing for myself. And other times it's like, oh, this is great. This would be a great idea to take to a co-write or, you know. Exactly. Move forward. Yeah. Um, Yeah. You never know. It's just like, okay, I'm just going to. And I think that's one of the things with the creative process is that there really are no 
bounds to it. You know, it, you have to come up with your own way of doing it. And if it's sitting down every day at 3 p.m. in front of your computer or with your notepad and writing, or if it's when inspiration strikes or, you know, like, as y'all probably know, 2 a.m., you can wake up from a dream and hear mm-hmm. something and recording it in your phone to try to not forget it. And I've yeah. done that a lot of times and then wake up in the morning and have thought, oh my God, that was terrible. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> or, oh my God, that is awesome. That's what we're yeah. going to write. <laughs> same thing, same thing, same way. But I'm like, I just do that just for the practice of, of trying to find, like, I'm, I'm one of those wordsmith people. So I love, love when like, like that's, you know, that perfect word hits and you're like, that was good. Like you just, you just know that was the word. Like that's, Yeah. <laughs> So true. It's so true. And the more you do it, like the more you follow that vein, you just have no idea where it goes, which I think is one of the things that's so exciting for for me in the process is you can sit down and a co-write and have zero clue what you're going to write that day. And then, you know, a few hours later, whether you finish the song or not, you've opened you've opened a new box that you've never opened before. And that Absolutely. that I think is really cool. Yeah. Sounds awesome. So would you like to do our crazy questions? Heck yeah, I do. Bring them on. <laughs> I, I made sure I have some new ones for you. You know. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. We definitely have <laughs> some new ones. It's okay. My phone's going mad. Your, your computer's going mad again? <laughs> it's going mad. Yeah, Instagram. Ding, 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 ding. Stop vibrating. <laughs> so annoying. So she has a question somewhere. Actually, no, I say it's not annoying. It's really good because it's all crazy when we come to stuff, but it's like ding, right. ding, ding, ding on my phone. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Questions. Questions. Okay. We'll start with nice and easy. What's your favorite type of transport? Favorite type of transport? Yeah. Mm, I mean, maybe a car, a plane. I don't know. I don't, I don't have any, I don't have a patient. So I would probably say a, a plane because you get there the absolute fastest. <laughs> I'm not down for road trips. I'm like, I have so, <laughs> so just get me there. <laughs> you need transportation. You need um, teleportation. That's what you need. I sign me up for that. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a pet parrot, what would you teach it to say? <laughs> my first idea was a cuss word of course because that's just you know, well, have a mouth like a sailor but um geez <laughs> i have no idea what i would be to say probably something weird and inappropriate because <laughs> you can't just go for like hey good morning or like you're doing a great job maybe i would tell it to tell it to tell me i look pretty <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool i'm ready to walk in the room that'd be cool yeah <laughs> okay if you're having a bad day do you have a feel-good tv show or film that you go to you know yes but one of my things that i love to do i have a reality tv addiction so like just throw on any reality tv show and i am a happy camper that's just super easy i know it's like terrible but i am here for it <laughs> Yeah, I'm not much of a reality TV show person, but yeah. I, I finally watched The Bachelor. You might be proud of me, but it was The Golden Bachelor, just so you know. Well, The <laughs> Golden Bachelor is the best bachelor that ever was. It's so right? good. Yes, it's, I can't wait for the next season. Gary, are you kidding me? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So which way should the toilet paper hang? Over or under? I think maybe over. Yeah, I like over. That sounds nice. <laughs> yes, we can stay friends. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love that. This question splits everything. Yeah, it's cool. Um, what's your favorite sporting event? Uh, I would say UFC, MMA. If you could have a lifetime supply of anything, what would it be? Yeah, Tahin. Do y'all know what tahine is? Oh my God, you're missing out on on the world. Tahine <laughs> is this. My mouth is watering literally as I talk about this. It's this chili salt that you can put on, you know, margaritas or fruit or anything like that. But it's like this very limey chili salt, and I'm absolutely fully addicted to it. 
insane. I think I'm going to have to figure out how to use it now. I'm cooking. <laughs> you don't need to cook. Honestly, you can just put it in your hand and lick it. <laughs> <laughs> that is an addiction. <laughs> yeah. There's our TikTok videos. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> the new TikTok thing. Yeah, that's fine. That would be cool. Um, if you could write with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Dolly Parton. Oh, it'd be awesome. Yeah, it would be really cool. I, I would love to see what happened there. <laughs> She's just a genius. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Little floof. You need a floof. floof. You need a hair <laughs> You need a hair Oh, he's so cute. You can hardly see his little eyes. <laughs> you need to get down now, aren't you? He's like, hi, he said, hi, I got to go now. Right. I'm the dog. I'm in charge. <laughs> That's how that works. Dogs are in charge. We we just cater to them. Mm -hmm. uh, finish this line. Today, my favorite song is. Today, my favorite song is. You know, I'm going to Luke Combs, but I can't remember the name of the song at the moment. But I've just had it on repeat a whole bunch. Lo is it Love You Anyway? That might be it. It's basically yeah. just saying if his heart gets totally smashed, regardless, he's gonna I want to love you anyway. And I just think it's so it's so cute and I don't know. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I love that. It's really okay. beautiful, it's intimate, you know, because it's like even if you get your heart completely broken and you know that, you're still gonna go through it. Yeah. It. It's worth it sometimes. Yeah. Um, okay. If your life was a reality show, what would it be called? Uh, um, <laughs> probably like Whitney does, you know, because I there's nothing that I won't try. <laughs> so it's like Whitney does skydiving. Whitney does something crazy. Whitney, I was gonna say like oh hell, uh, here she goes again or something. I don't know, but I'm just always I'm always chasing something adrenaline inducing and fun. I love to just play and have fun. I really feel like this world you know is just like a giant playground and it should be kind of treated that way and at the end of my life I'm gonna have an insane amount of stories to tell my grandkids and feel like I I squeezed all of the juice out of life that I possibly could <laughs> sounds amazing actually that'd be I would actually watch that reality tv show <laughs> that would be a good one absolutely we're in we're gonna we're just gonna get that going like next week and yeah for, for, you know we go. still the podcast but we're gonna get that going now yeah, yeah I'm yeah. <laughs> if you were a ruler of the world, who would be your top advisor? Probably my, I mean, <laughs> I was about to say my dog because I was looking at her and I'm like, I honestly feel like he, she might give the best advice <laughs> than anybody in this world. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. that. You give great advice, didn't you? Yeah. They know more yeah. than we do. We just get all up in our head. They're just like locked in all the time. They are totally, totally. My book. Okay. If you owned a bar, what would you call it? If I owned a bar, what would I call it? Oh, man. <laughs> Y'all hit me with some hard questions here. I got to really think about these. <laughs> we can't make it too easy for you, you know. <laughs> I know, and but you can't make the bar name too easy. You know, it can't be like bottoms right. up because that's lame. Oh, you know, <laughs> and it can't be like Whitney's Tavern because that's lame. Uh, it would probably, I don't know, something the watering hole, maybe that's kind of lame too. See, I got to really think about these things. <laughs> Getting yeah. down wits. <laughs> there you go, getting down the woods. <laughs> Living on the edge. Getting hammered. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so tell us, if you were arrested for something, what would it be for? What wouldn't I be arrested for? <laughs> the real answer. My last thing that I got nervous about, I've never been arrested. Let me just say that first, <laughs> knock on wood. But I was worried during the snowstorm that I would get arrested because I was snowboarding behind a car. And that can't be legal. But um, <laughs> but yeah, I did do tubes behind the car, too, and stuff. So, you know, come on. 
Yeah, that's fine. Safe. It's fine. Yeah. It's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't get arrested for fighting or like doing anything mean. That's for sure. Because I just, I just don't see that. Something but, adrenaline. Uh, I see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like <laughs> jumping off of a bridge into a lake or something. I'd be like, oh, you can't do that. You know, and I get arrested for that. <laughs> Um, okay, what is your guilty pleasure food? Ooh, I love gushers, particularly sour gushers. What are gushers? They're like they're, gummies. They're, yeah, they're like, like gummies with like in the inside. Go, I'll let you explain it. <laughs> yeah, there's there's just like gummies that have this like kind of juicy thing on the inside that like gush out when you eat them, and I like okay. the ones. I don't think yeah. we've got them over here. Let me check. I guess to start looking at the English schools. I said it's a fine thing. I mean, you got to check on that, and you got to check on tahini. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. you check on the food. I'm gonna have to just send you some and be like, "Yeah, customs <laughs> you don't pay. To. It's just an American <laughs> sweet treat, and yeah, it's good." Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. That's awesome. What is this red stuff coming out of the box? No, it's okay. Really, it's all good. <laughs> uh, what is it? <laughs> just lick it. You'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> We have to use that line later. <laughs> that's a great line. Just lick it. Love it. That's so cool. <laughs> Maybe that's the name of my bar. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> that would be cool. Just lick it. That would be awesome. <laughs> oh, okay. So, wait, was that was that our questions or are we doing more? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, that's, that's what I thought. I, <laughs> I, okay, I, losing my mind. Losing my mind today. Sorry. <laughs> it, it, it is a manic Monday, so yeah. That's all. I, that, that's my excuse. Yeah. We're, we're not to it. Yeah, definitely. So, <laughs> so tell us what else is happening for this year. Like, obviously, we know the EP is going to be coming out and things like that. So, what else do you have planned for this year? Yeah, once we get the EP out, which will probably, I'm hoping for you know summertime for that to to happen um then we're going to plan on doing a tour um and that'll be here in the u.s and definitely in texas where i'm from uh but right now i'm just trying to grind and keep my head down and and focus on getting this music to the point to where i'm you know a 100 full sin all the way in yeah. Yeah. yeah other than that just having some fun you know not forgetting that i'm doing this because i because i love it and because i have fun doing it and i think a lot of the times you know we can get caught up in in the industry and what the industry wants and how it should be and and you lose touch with your ultimate why and why we're doing this and and so for me it's staying as grounded as possible in that and getting the work done but having fun while you do it yeah yeah sounds good yeah absolutely I mean, I couldn't imagine you not having fun. No offense. Like, I, just, you're just that bubbly, fun person. Like, like I could see if I was having a bit, I'd be like, hey, Whitney. And you'd be like, yeah, oh. call me. I got you. <laughs> you can call me. Maybe to, to the stage to go get a Texas. <laughs> a lot of people, like, my boyfriend often mentions, he's like, it's crazy when you have, like, an off day. Because I'm never really, like, that sad or anything. I'm just not full throttle all the time. <laughs> And it's just like slightly below normal. So you know what? Just call me. <laughs> like a ninety percent with me, and then it's hundred and ten percent up here. You know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's that been so cool. such a pleasure having you on today, and uh, you're oh. welcome back anytime. As I said before. Well, thank you so much. I always love coming on. I I really appreciate the support, and maybe when the EP comes out, we can chat again. Oh, Sounds definitely. Like a plan. Make sure you send us all the details and we'll obviously promote it across our platforms and everything else to let everybody know. So it'd be cool. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. And, and if you can send us in advance, we'll try to get a nice review out and uh, hey, how help you out there. Heck yeah, yeah. that's awesome. I would love that. Thank you. Cool. Absolutely. And for Whitney's current music and to follow her, links will be in the description as usual. And thank you all for joining us for another episode. Have a great day. Adios. If you enjoyed today's episode of Crazy Women Country, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Be sure to click the subscribe button for new interviews weekly. And thank you, friends, for joining us today on Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter.